Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good morning, I'm Melissa Ivinson. Thanks for joining us. Chris has the day off. Court proceedings were delayed again in the case of a Modoc man suspected of killing his wife. The preliminary hearing for Robert Foy is postponed until 11 this morning. Foy's attorney, Michael Alexander, was not available for comment Thursday. The Randolph County Sheriff says it's too early to make any predictions. One never knows until you go to trial and goes to a jury. I never try to second guess a jury. This is the county's second murder this year. And in the Randolph murder case, uh, police say there are recent allegations that Robert Foy beat his wife. Newslink Indiana's Amanda Lentz tells us how some women find a way out of their abusive relationships. Non-traditional students face many distractions like jobs, kids, and money. But this student, we'll call Jane, says she can concentrate on school despite living through a dangerous relationship. I'd heard many times he was going to cut me up and throw me in the pond, and um, that's why when this girl got killed, that, that hit home, big time. He um, attacked me in August, and um, I realized then that I, I was going to die. The 30-year-old says she was abused by her husband for six and a half years until one day that was it. That hope has to be gone, and that hope was gone a long time ago. It was just a matter of getting the courage. Tess Hines, a counselor at A Better Way, an agency that helps abused women, says that there are many reasons women stay in abusive relationships. Because of fear, they actually love that person and the commitment, um, what other people think, and just fear the future and financial difficulties. And in most cases, the decision to leave isn't made until the abuser threatens the victim's children. In this case, the victim wanted to make sure she'd still be alive for her kids. In Muncie, Amanda Lentz, Newslink, Indiana. If you are in an abusive relationship and need help, call A Better Way at 765-747-9107. Now here's Jennifer Cook with a look at today's forecast. Jennifer. Thanks, Alyssa. This morning, we're seeing our temperature at 62. We're beginning to see showers and thunderstorms develop out to our west. As they move into our region into the early afternoon, we're going to see them clear out, and then we're going to see this cold front begin to drop southeast, bringing us clouds and thunders and sh showers for tomorrow. So later today, we're going to see a high of 74. Alyssa? Thanks, Jennifer. And that's Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tonight for more news, and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.